Today is day two of putting the temporary septic tank in. We've put the tank in the ground and today we need to fill in the hole around that. Uh, we need to dig another big hole to put the crates in for the water runoff and then we need to connect all the pipe work together. So loads still to do but loads of fun coming up. As always, Buddy and Winston were there to help out. Buddy was supervising today, but first he had to have some breakfast, so he stole Winston's bone. We got started by putting the crates into position and spray painting around them so we knew where to dig. The crates are an alternative to using pebbles and shingle to filter the water that comes out of the septic tank. This is the soak away part of the kit in the pack that we bought. Then it was time for some more fun on the digger. Gil then jumped in the hole to level it all out. Oh no, Winston's ball has fallen oh, Winston. in. Oh boy. Right, no more. This material goes around the top and the sides of the crates to stop earth getting in. It's definitely not supposed to go under it, right? No. Do you want to go over that side and then... Um, well, this should be your area of expertise, isn't it? What, packing stuff? No, it's not making a bed, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty sheet. Get in there. Oh, <laughs> <careful>. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> you could use this. If you um pull it, pull it down a bit. And... It just undid what I was doing. <laughs> Let it go, yeah. I'll do it.
but he decided the leftover material was perfect for a dog bed. He only moved when he had to do some supervising. Gills cut in the pipe to size to connect the septic tank. Take a look, this is the in pipe for the septic tank. This pipe just goes into the tank. On the other side is the out pipe. This one goes down into the tank so nothing floating on the top of the water can get into it. Okay. You have to lift, it, lift it up a bit your end. Yep. More. The pipe's in place. While we were busy, Buddy went to bury Winston's bone so Winston couldn't find it. He's not too clever because Winston was actually watching while he was doing it. Poor thing, he just wants his bone back. Moment of truth in the bathroom in the caravan. That's just what we want to see. A little water coming out this side and no leaks along the pipe. Now to put the pipe in to the soak away. Pick away Winston's buddy's ball. It's all connected, all working well, time to fill it in. I took quite a lot of those big bamboo roots out, but this is also a bigger job that we need to get to.
kiln filled in earth around the tank and over the top of it. So it's looking fairly good. There's still quite a bit to do in this side garden and there's still some earth to put back and some roots to clear, but it's looking a lot better than it was and it's working and that's the main thing. Gil also put this vent in for the waste pipe, which apparently is really important in a septic system, but we forgot to film it, unfortunately. Buddy lost interest in supervising about halfway through. Him and Winston decided to have a nap instead. The cube septic tank has been in for about 10 days now. It's working really well and we are really pleased with it. We've had loads of rain, but there's been no problems with any of the drainage. And now we've had a couple of dry days. The soil is actually drying out fairly well. Uh, so we can see that it's all working and um, no problems at all. So if you have a temporary building, we would really highly recommend these cube septic tanks uh, if you need a septic system. And I've popped the link in the description of this video again uh, for anybody who's interested. So now we're all set up here, we're ready to get on with other bits of the renovation and there's loads to do. So subscribe to us at the Old Station Renovation to see our journey. Yay!